Hey everybody, today we got a Lathian, menu number eight, pork with buckwheat. Let's see how this one compares to some of the other ones I've had. Alright, let's get this opened up. We want to use my old Camp King. I've had this knife, oh gosh, probably for somewhere around 50 years. And I think I was, uh, maybe about 45 years. I don't think it's never been sharpened since I've had it. I did one of these the other day that I hadn't put up yet out in Utah. And let me tell you, the jelly had burst. And it wasn't very good, very nice. Got all of our stuff here, all that coffee. And the jelly leaked a little bit in this one, but not too bad. There's our stove, matches, fuel tabs. Not going to be needing that. Porridge. Oh, this is caramel lid like that. Candy right there. I guess that's candy. And here's our rice porridge with strawberries. The rye bread. That rye bread is usually pretty good. This is pretty fresh too. So this one don't expire until. You can see that right there. Like. November 20th of 2021, so it's still good. And we got some almonds. Black currant jam. That's look like it's all right. I guess everything made it. And then some honey. We get our pork and barley out. Smells like onions. Fernbark did a Teflon Tuesday, so we're going to do a, a Teflon Saturday. There ain't much uh, cast iron in this house. Cut. Accessory pack out. Little Ziploc bag. And they believe in coffee. Sugar. Two packs of sugar. 20 grams each. Four packs of, I think it's just two in one coffee. It's pretty good. And this time we get a a moment to refresh. Oh, that's a tea bag. Lemon fresh white and some power gun. Have a rice porridge. I want to get that made here in just a second. Here's our rice porridge. Make sure it's handled ain't too hot to hold. Pour some water in there. That much. Give that a stir. Set it off to the side. Get a cup here from Readiness Reviews. Good 
good he has a good channel put this forest fruit tea bag in there lifting It's like a regular old tea bag. Uh oh, I tore a hole in it. So we'll see what happens here. Hot water in that tea. Add a little of this sugar. Do something with it. They gave you plenty. Strawberry flavored tea. Let that sit for a minute. Get our hot water. Get some coffee. Put that in there. No creamer, but let's put the rest of that sugar in it. Stir. Get our lemon fresh wipe here and clean up our paws, our hands. Smells like lemon. Pretty damp, too. Right, we get our pork and barley all heated up. Liz, you want to come home and smell this? And I think I cooked something delicious. I'm going to get out our rye bread. I'm going to give our tea a taste. Kind of a strawberry tasted tea. Really not too bad. I like I got company. I'm going to take and give this rice porridge and strawberries a try. That's a good dessert or good to have. I mean, the strawberries taste pretty good and the rice. You just need a little bit more sugar. Take our black currant jam and put it on that rye bread. This jelly pretty good. Get this piece. Put a big glob on there. Put a little jelly down with that. Give us a taste. Now, let's try a little bit of this. I've been waiting for this. Too bad they didn't serve us around here at Applebee's or somewhere. They might get more business. Our honey. Honey's a little crystallized, but... I don't think that hurts anything. Try a bite on its own. Tastes like sugar flavored honey. Try some on the bread. Put a little of the honey down there in the rice porridge. And the bite of the porridge was right with honey. You know, everything here, the jelly, the honey, the rice porridge, the pork, even these little caramel candies. We'll see how that is. Everything is just perfect. Kind of barberry, but it says caramel right there. They ain't a sign of no caramel in this. Tastes like a piece of strawberry candy. Almonds and raisin mix. 
And we'll get a few almonds and a few raisins. Not too bad. Well, I'm going to finish this up, but this is, I mean, really good. These can't don't look that look like it, but I mean, it's great. Well, thanks everybody for watching. Bye.